Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Angie. I have a message from our Lord. Now, normally he gives me these messages during my quiet time with him. I spend a, a few hours with him in the morning. Then I join with my husband and we have time of prayer. But he didn't give this message during my quiet time waiting on him and, and reading the word of God and he gave it to me for the first time while I was deep in prayer with my husband he started speaking I thought okay I'll pray I'm praying it out what he's given to me and then I realized it was a message so I stopped praying I said to my husband he's given me a message so I sat down and wrote it down quickly what he gave me then my husband and I prayed and interceded for her or his children around the world I'm going to speak this message by the Spirit of God. You need to receive it by the Spirit. <laughs> if you are in carnality, it may be an offence to you. If people can become offended when someone speaks by the Spirit truth. If they're in carnality. Carnality wants our flesh to be appeased. God doesn't appease our flesh. He speaks truth by his Spirit. And life comes. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus said, I came to bring life and life abundantly. John 10.10 10. We lean not upon our own understanding. We cannot go to our carnality, our limited understanding, our perception, our intellect, something that is of the Spirit. We need to receive it by the Spirit of God into our own spirit. We trust the Lord with all our hearts. What I'm about to share with you is weighty. I actually don't want to share it. <laughs> when you are submitted to him, totally yielded over to him, it doesn't depend anymore how you feel about it. It depends on him. Obedience to our Lord is important to him. Lord Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. When you love the Lord, you are obedient to him. It's not dependent on how your flesh may feel about it. It's obedience, walking by faith. When you know you've heard the Spirit, you share it. I'm accountable to my Lord. <laughs> he calls me see, he calls me messenger. He knows he can trust me to share by his Spirit for his children. Right now, you're watching or listening to this video. He brought you here by his Spirit. So there's a grace on you right now. To hear the truth by the Spirit of God. So Holy Spirit, beautiful Holy Spirit. Minister to all those who are listening, who are watching right now. In their hearts, soften their hearts, prepare their hearts to hear the truth. It is the word of God. Father never contradicts his, contradicts his word. They hear the truth by you, Holy Spirit. Not look at the messenger, but hear it by the Spirit been spoken through the messenger thank you holy spirit move upon them wherever they are let peace come upon their hearts and their minds let them have perfect peace as their minds are stayed upon the lord because they trust him Isaiah 26 3 the lord being their refuge and their fortress hallelujah i take authority over every demonic spirit and power that may try to hinder distract block you from hearing and receiving this message, which is truth that can set us free. It brings life when you speak something by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Everything of the realms of darkness, I bind you in the name of Jesus. Bound from hindering, distracting, blocking this child of God in any way whatsoever from receiving this message from Father's heart to theirs. These messages, he named them from Father's heart to yours. Bypassing your human reasoning, understanding and intellect straight to your heart, into your spirit, where his spirit is with you, in your spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh. Bless you, Lord. Ooh, thank you very much. That's the power of God. Yes, Lord, your truth will go forth and prosper in the thing it's sent forth to do. 
it will not return void. Hallelujah, but accomplish the thing that it's sent forth to do. For your purposes, your will should be made manifest in the lives of your children, in their household. I hear it's a warning. Thank you, Lord. Speak to them truth, the Lord says. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And everything of the realms of darkness be bound, blind and deaf and silent in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Okay, we're about to hear a, a message by the Spirit of God. That's why the Lord asked me to wear a white shirt. Oh, it wasn't my idea. It's representing His Spirit. White curtains behind me, heavenly realms. Father, I'm about to speak your message. You surprised me. <laughs> you did it differently. But your will be done. Not ours. Your will. Let the grace, your grace, your spirit come upon your children to receive this from you. It is scripture. It is the truth. Thank you, Lord. Let your grace be upon me to read my handwriting and move by your spirit. In love, always in your love, Father. Even a warning comes from your love. You love those, you discipline those, you love, you correct them, you warn us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. And I read it in absolute reverence unto you. I know it, it comes from you. It's your for your children, whom you've led here right now to, to hear this message, to receive it from you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I'm just waiting on him to start. All right. He knows I'm obedient to him. Are you ready? Seated in heavenly places with Lord Jesus, hearing a message given by the Spirit of God. Watch it. Okay. He just started speaking while we were praying away. We see our prayer is waiting to hear what the Spirit would speak to us and then we pray it back to God <laughs> we wait to hear the heart of God then pray it back to him that's how we pray and he started speaking you ready I'll be removing many from my church worldwide I know those who are mine and those who are not when he spoke that what came to mind the wheat and the tares there are those who have been planted in Father's church of the enemy, not of him. It says that they will grow up together. Don't remove them. Unless the Lord is doing something, <laughs> which he is. All right. Mine his children that he's planted in his church shall rise during the shaking sifted as wheat though they may fall and when he said fall I heard momentarily though they may fall they shall rise stronger in me when they return what comes to mind with that is when Peter was sifted as wheat by Satan and he fell, he departed from Lord Jesus, denied him three times, but returned stronger. Hallelujah. We're not about to deny our Lord. But a shaking has happened in his church worldwide. He's given it a good old shake. Those who are steadfast in me, those who are rooted and grounded in Christ, will remain strong in me and shine my light, my glory being upon those on them, upon them, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who were not planted by me will exchange the truth for a lie. 
believe in doctrines of demons, man's vain imaginations over my truth by my spirit. Their ears turn to hear what appeases their flesh, but to their demise. When I heard that, I heard destruction. Those who have ears to hear will hear my spirit, who releases life to the hearers. Truth that will save your soul, not appease it. Many are running to and fro, wanting to hear a word, wanting to hear this that appeases their flesh. And God speaks truth by his spirit. It's a humble heart that's going to receive truth by his spirit. A humble heart to him. I did not come to bring peace, but a sword. To divide those who are for me within their hearts and those who are not. It will, it will cut to the very root and remove what is not of me. If we let it, it will bring godly sorrow unto repentance, turning hearts back to mine, says the Lord. Hear my spirit and truth will come into your understanding I am raising my spiritual children birthed by my spirit when you said yes to Lord Jesus you're born again of spirit thus we are led by the spirit walk by the spirit not carnality in the things of the world the old way we're a new creation he's spiritual children Grafted in by the blood of my son. Those whose eyes have been opened to my spiritual truth. Eaten and partaken of me. For I am truth. Rewind the video if you need to. Watch it again. Hear this message from him. And that was the end of the message. There's a big shaking happening in Father's church because his judgment has come upon his church worldwide. He's given it a good old shake. Some that weren't meant to be there he will remove. I, I was shown many leaving the church because of offence. Some won't want to hear the truth. They want their flesh appeased. And they will be offended by him. They'll be offended by the person who speaks the truth. They'll exchange a truth for a lie. We need to be rooted and grounded in Christ. A humble heart. He will oppose the, the proud. He will humble. He will humble us. If we've got pride. Pride. Carnality. Doesn't want to hear truth by the Spirit. Wants the flesh appeased. There are many who have hearts that are wounded. Rejection, abandonment, disappointment, let down, offence. They want their flesh appeased. They want to hear things that's going to make them feel good. 
momentarily. My father sees to the root of it and speak truth by his spirit. Those who have ears to hear will listen and hear his spirit. His prophets and his seers are going to rise up and speak truth by the spirit. It may cause many that their spirits resonate and hear the spirit being spoken, which is life and excitement come a burning within. This is a good thing. Because they, they understand their spirit can hear the spirit of Christ, the spirit of the Lord being spoken out of the prophets and the seers. But then there are going to be those who are still in carnality, religion, man-imposed regulations and rules, who have a mindset not of God, who oppose. You see, flesh is enmity to the spirit. It opposes the things of the spirit. It won't receive what the spirit will speak and oppose it. If you're a prophet, if you're a seer of the Lord, whether you have been been ordained by man, you've been ordained by God, speak that truth by the Spirit, please. Be obedient to Him. He'll deal with the people who, who receive it or don't receive it. He'll, that's Him. That's for Him to work out. You speak the truth in love. Fear God first. Don't fear man. Fear God. Always in love. Always in love. And no one know that you heard the Spirit. No one know it. Ask for confirmation before you speak or write something, please. It is wisdom to do so. You need to discern the Spirit from other spirits. Even your own. To know the true spirit of, of the Lord, there's freedom, there's peace, there's love. And love does no harm to another. But those who are operating carnality, religion, flesh, oppose the spirit. They don't want to actually hear the truth. They want their flesh appeased. They want a nice prophetic word. They want to hear nice things are happening. They don't want to hear about the darkness coming upon the earth. They don't want to hear the truth that will bring life into whatever's happening in their hearts and in their own lives. For those who receive it, it's freedom. Because that's where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Those who receive the Spirit get set free. And those who resist Him, If you're in bondage and you be offended by truth that is spoken, well, that's the enemy, an open door to the enemy. May we all please have a humble heart, please, before our Lord, to hear truth by his spirit. To humble our hearts before him. A planting of the Lord in his church. We are all the church, understand. It's not a building. <laughs> a planting of the Lord. The wheat. And we bear much fruit that remains for his kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That we would speak words of life and blessings. Speak by the Spirit. Learn the scriptures by the Spirit. Speak out the scriptures, the word of God by the Spirit. Pray it. Always in love. Lord Jesus said in John thirteen thirty four, A new commandment I give you, that you love one another as I have loved you. In verse 34, and, the, and they will know you are my disciples by your love. Let everything we do be done in love. 
always. But when the spirit moves, there can be a boldness. Those who know the spirit and excitement are burning within their hearts. Their bellies will rise up. Hallelujah. Even a godly conviction is a good thing because it turns us back to the Father. Those who are wanting their flesh to be appeased will possibly feel offence. They won't like it and can even come against the one who speaks by the Spirit. Humble our hearts. Humble our hearts before the almighty living God. He is God. And he weighs the hearts of men. He tests the hearts of men. He knows those who are within their heart for him. And those who are not. And though we may fall when the sifting comes. Though we may fall momentarily. We'll return to him stronger. Those who are rooted down deep. And the foundation of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, will not be moved. We will shine the light of Christ. His light, not ours. His light and the glory of God upon us. Hallelujah. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of God is risen upon you. It's upon you. And darkness over the earth and darkness over the people is going to become darker. And thus we become brighter in him. As we press in, drawing closer to the Father, to the Son, to the Spirit, who is the light for our spirit. Let his light shine. Hallelujah! <laughs> Holy Spirit, minister to all those, please, who just heard this message. Pay heed, listen, hear it by the Spirit. Ask the Lord to speak to them personally. Have confirmation that this indeed is the Spirit. To learn your voice, Holy Spirit, and to be led by you. To be in the Spirit, not the soulless realm but in the Spirit, led by you. As a new creation, they are in Christ, rooted and grounded in the truth and the Word of God on the rock that is Christ, our Lord, and not be moved. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Love you all. I'll see you in the next video. Father's timing and by His Spirit. Hallelujah. Bye-bye.